Alright. My name is Splor. I will be playing Dwarf Fortress tonight. I am going to be starting a fresh build just for this stream. So I will be playing this entirely on the stream. No offline play. So to anybody watching this, uh, I will be streaming on the evenings that I have free time over the next few weeks. I've got quite a few personal commitments and need to take a break and had been meaning to try casting, but uh, after the end of those I actually plan on casting pretty regularly for the foreseeable future. So if you have any questions, I'd be happy to give you a live tutorial on any aspect of the game. I've been playing off and on for several years now. Um, I am definitely involved with the wiki, though you will not find my name under Splore. You will not find my name, hopefully. I'm. Uh, that is actually my personal handle that I use on pretty much every game, so as much as I would love to give that out to you guys, Splore is new, just for the purpose of casting. So what I'm looking for is I'm not really feeling like dealing with a freaking aquifer tonight, so I'm really looking for kind of an area of the world that's not... <sighs> Infested by this aquifer bullshit. Okay. Aquifer. If I were an aquifer. Hey, there we go. No, you're a piece of shit. Okay. preference on where I start here, so I may just go ahead and start with an aquifer. Can't seem to find anything without it. There we go. Got one. Bark. Made a customs fine. Let's go get me cat and then get some birds two roosters three hens and go back and fill the rest of dogs I don't have enough for dogs so one helmets it is and bark no, you don't need an anvil. You don't need an anvil. You can pick that up from the first caravan. <laughs> like to live dangerously. Set up my farms here. Most likely be moving them actually. Yeah, Pete's great. No, no, ever since they actually dropped the cost of an anvil from the trade caravan, it's it's really not too big of a deal whether or not you embark with one. Um, back when you used to have to get a significant number of crafts up before the first caravan, it was quite the ordeal.
guy chopping. Okay. Now I don't like my carpenter doing anything but carpentry early on. No hauling. I have plenty of other people who will struggle with being idle. So if you have any preferences on, on directions you'd like to see this fork go, I'm always up for suggestions, challenges. I will be numbering my stream based on how many days this fork's been running consecutively. Um, I am, I am from the US. I will be playing this game in Central Standard Time, usually in the evening here. leave your military as designated haulers when they're off duty later. And actually now that you have mine carts, there's really not nearly as many long distance hauling duties to be done. Middle of the night. Excellent. I actually watch most of my streams at work. Uh, Works had some pretty mindless tasks the last couple of weeks. So. I am an architect. Well, actually, I am not licensed yet. I am working on that. So I am working on finishing my licensure. So I guess that makes me officially an architecture intern, which seems to be a title we keep for our whole lives. All right, get those primary circulation shafts under control there. Hopefully Okay. Get them planting plump helmets as soon as they finish eating the ones they have. Brown stone. Dwarf Fortress is is pretty ideal. Yes, I think for anybody in a building profession, it's or a planning profession, it's it's pretty exciting. 
anybody that's honestly been just kind of appealed to the concept of a, a mega construction, anybody who finds bridges cool or big towered buildings cool, any of the Denmark architecture. Um, I look at a lot of a lot of architects from that part of the world. Um, I think you can build just about anything here. I have not played in recent versions with getting a 3D visualizer running, but that that really changes the aesthetics of the game when you're not just viewing it one level at a, at a time anymore. All right. In case you haven't played with mind carts, they are pretty pretty much amazing. not played with the idea of a fully automated fort yet, but I think that may be my objective this evening is to get a power plant up and start playing with that. Dump. West. Highest friction. Perfect. No dump. Beautiful. I am a little disappointed by the number of DF streamers. So I think that's why I've kind of decided I think the I think the automation the track stops is really going to change the way we do labors and I think as a result we're going to have to start focusing on on moving away from these big tracks of bedrooms because if you if you've created a a circulation of material where a dwarf does not have to leave his workshop. He can pick up a raw material on one side of the workshop, do work, set the finished good on the other side and go back to work. Then it's a question of why does he need to go so far to go to bed? Why are bedrooms not assigned to individual workshops now? So I think I think I've, I've currently been playing with the idea of a lot more workshops Per dwarf, and um, you know, 200 dwarfs, 200 workshops. That way, each dwarf can kind of have his own workshop and his own workspace, without actually. Uh, it's kind of superseding burrows. I can't imagine integrating them, but yes, minecarts are pretty excellent. out there. This is the Mayday tile set. Um, could not be simpler to find. I don't know if you are running um, PC or Mac, but actually um, 